futuristic equipment, cutting edge technologies. Now, the FBI Crime Lab on Modern Marvels. Like many American institutions, the FBI was dramatically affected by the events of 9-11. The Bomb Data Center's basic purpose is to provide a database for public safety bomb technicians to provide for their training and to gather intelligence from overseas that deal with infernal devices, as they were once called, i.e. explosive devices or improvised explosive devices. Part of its equipment is the latest generation of bomb diffusing robots. A robot can always be replaced. The arms can break, you can blow off a tread if a device functions. You can't replace a bomb technician. The robot allows that bomb technician to have eyes and hands down there on a suspect device, be able to manipulate it, move it, remove it from the hazard to the public without exposing himself to danger. This robot is an Andros Model V1A, the state of the art in use today. It's a pretty beastly robot, as you can see. It's heavy, it's designed to pull heavy loads. In fact, the robot's capable of moving a parked car. The controller on the robot allows the operator to have full vision of all the cameras on the robot. The robot has a drive camera to allow the operator to see basically what the robot would be seeing where it's driving. This particular model also has another camera mounted on the disruptors. The disruptor system, known uh, colloquially as a water cannon, the robot uses its disruptors to literally blow the package apart. But just how this is done is a closely guarded secret. We can't really discuss how we decide what we're going to do on the bomb, where we're going to target. That gets into some very sensitive areas that we need to safeguard. The purpose of using water is it allows being not compressible. It allows it to tear things open. It allows it to separate components. and allows it to open packages. Another of the lab's units was also drastically affected by the events of 9-11. The Counterterrorism Forensic Science Research Unit um, was actually initially the Forensic Science Research Unit, and that was formed in the early 80s. And it existed serving primarily the traditional forensic sciences for about 20 years. And all of that actually changed after 9-11, when the FBI as a whole had a significant mission change toward uh, preventing and disrupting terrorism. The unit's research into combating terrorism has taken on various forms, including a weapon-specific CD-ROM, which can be used by local field offices as an investigative tool. I don't want to really go into the specifics of the types of weapons that we're looking at because it's classified. But basically, this investigative CD-ROM manual gives the people on site information as to what type of weapon could have been used, and these weapons are pretty specific to terrorist events. Armed with their dual missions of fighting both crime and terrorism, and now housed in their state-of-the-art facility, the men and women of the FBI Crime Lab stand poised to confront the future. The FBI laboratory today is in a world-class facility. We've always had world-class scientists and world-class technologies, but until today, We've never had a world-class facility. And in that facility, the FBI Crime Lab has clearly become the best in the world. The most exciting part of this job is coming here each and every day and seeing the 700 employees of this laboratory pour their heart and soul into their work and knowing the difference that it's making in the lives of victims and the lives of just ordinary citizens all across this country.